That's enough. You have no right to patronize him. Wait, the warden's in the middle of a meeting. I will now announce the participants selected to represent each building. That remains to be seen. You aren't my friend. Against him! In a well-pressed cape and uniform accessorized with a slick red power tie and black eye patch, we have Tenshiro Yozakura, former police dog trainer and supervisor of Building 4! Let's get on with it, shall we? Against the bird. That was a fairly decent attempt. Even a rotten guard is still a guard, I suppose. This is my year. You won't stand in my way. Prepare to fall. This year we'll win. It's time we take Hajime down. You enter yourself, Hajime Sugoroku. You beat me last year, and it's you I must beat now. Come, let's have a fair match. When standing before the Warden's gaze, you can't help but submit. I see. I have no room to blame him if his heart's been taken by her beauty. I see now. I will demolish you in this battle, thus proving to her that I am the only man worthy of her gaze. Not so fast! You really don't understand, do you? The only way she'll acknowledge me is if I can best you. Prepare yourself for a shattered skull, Hajime! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so you do hope to win this match. What the... As you go, keep it lively! Damn you. You're making a mockery out of this battle. How dare you. How dare you insult me. This isn't over. I've torn his uniform. Does that please you? Damn you. How are you this strong? Wouldn't call that fight just yet. Warden, I... You were expecting to fight the same man you beat last year. But I've trained endlessly since then. Prepare yourself for the special technique I developed. Could it be that his special technique? You're a skilled fighter, but not even you can block the unseen. He cracks his whip at incredible speeds, creating virtual blades of wind. Tough break. It's hard to fight when you can barely move. If you'd like to surrender, feel free. Then you can always surrender. You'd also be sparing yourself additional humiliation. This mud'll need a cone when I'm through with him. If you aren't giving up, then I'll finish you off! <laughs> Damn you! My attacks were invisible, how could you have dodged them?! Was all that training for nothing? That's enough, 634. Stop resisting at once, unless you wish to incriminate yourself even further. Too bad we won't get any. Stay focused, or this will end quite quickly. Looks like his offensive capabilities are diminished. Prepare yourself to strike, Sama. You aren't too bad, but unfortunately, you lost the moment you decided to stand against me. A few thousand shards of anesthetic needles are embedded in my whip. Welcome back, Hajime Sugoroku. He caused a lot of damage. He's chained in one of Building 4's underground cells for now. And these inmates are dangerous. We don't want another violent incident. If it happens again, so be it. Number 634. Are you comfortable in there? First, I'm willing to walk myself to the gallows. Well, that's how I used to feel. Attention, please, inmates. My name is Kenshiro Yozakura. You've received your orders, men. Now do as you've been instructed. Now let's take a look at today's schedule. It would seem Hajime's been lax when it comes to inmate discipline. He's being treated in a special medical ward at headquarters. Visitors are not permitted there. A strange choice of words. <coughs> oh. Doctor. I actually believed you were concerned for your cellmate. They go. Just kidding. I can certainly understand why you didn't expect me to believe your story. It defies all logic and reason. This is not the first rumor I've heard about inmates being used for human experiments. Why haven't I done something about it? Because much like you, I was unable to convince anyone it was real. I submitted numerous reports on my findings, but the accounts I gathered were rejected. My superiors characterized them as baseless rumors. Over time, I gathered this was not a subject they wanted investigated. 
I will not turn a blind eye to wanted corruption. There are few crimes worse than perverting the justice system for personal gain. And these experiments are in flagrant disregard of human rights. Such acts are grossly immoral. These repulsive criminals cannot be allowed to walk free. Perhaps you should think on that fact. You could be lying, but what matters more to me is the possibility that those criminals could be out there. As long as that chance exists, I'll put everything I have towards taking them down.